Giant animal movies are great. They are full of thrill, suspense, mystery and the occasional comedy. Humans facing a monstrous, colossal creature that is somewhat similar to a realistic animal that seems to be on tremendous steroids has been a fan favorite for several years now. With the release of films such as the Jurassic Park franchise, King Kong and Godzilla, it is safe to say that such films have a high ability to take the box office by storm. And rightfully so, since such movies tug at several heartstrings at once. We sit at the edge of our seats, eager to know what happens next. We bite our nails in the hopes that the beast will not eat the crew members. And we sweat profusely when the characters are partying, because it only means that the gala will end in bloodshed. As intense as it may sound, we all know that giant animal movies are more often than not tremendously exciting to watch. For this reason, we will talk about such giant animal movies in today's video. Before getting into the content, we would like to make a very small request to our viewers. Please subscribe to our channel, like and comment on our videos, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new content. We would be grateful to you, and we hope to bring you the best nerdy content. So, without further ado, Let's get right into it. Anaconda 1997 Starting off the list with one of the most well-renowned giant film creature films ever, the 1997 Anaconda witnesses documentary filmmakers who embark on a dangerous expedition into the Amazon rainforests. Feared for its plethora of dangerous creatures like the piranhas, poison dart frogs and of course the anaconda, the crew soon becomes victim to ferocious attacks by the world's largest and one of the most deadliest of snakes. The crew sets out on this adventure into the heart of the Amazon rainforest, hoping to capture rare footage of the wildlife and promote the need to preserve the forest and its exotic brilliance. However, when warned about the treacherous anaconda rumored to inhabit their area, the crew dismisses the threats. Tensions rise within due to incompatible personalities and different opinions, but it pales in comparison to the fear they feel in the face of the new colossal enemy. They begin to experience attacks conducted by the anaconda as the serpent picks them off one after the other, consuming them and forcing the group to work together for their survival. Soon, the anaconda proves to be much more cunning than expected. The anaconda we see is a fictionalized green anaconda displayed to be far superior than its realistic counterpart, thanks to its enhanced stealth, speed, strength and intelligence. It attacks by wrapping itself around its victims, crushing their bodies to overpower them and subsequently devouring the prey. It uses its superior wits to hide within the dense foliage of the rainforests, which allows it to avoid detection. It then strikes from the background to show the crew who the boss of the rainforest really is. Although the original green anaconda lurking within the Amazonian rainforests is quite dangerous in itself, the film amps up its natural characteristics to make it much more formidable. Jurassic Park movie franchise. The Jurassic Park movie franchise is easily the greatest franchise in the world of creature films. The science fiction masterpiece centers itself around the genetically engineered dinosaurs as it takes inspiration from Michael Crichton's novel of the same name. Billionaire John Hammond creates the Jurassic Park, a theme park for which scientists extract DNA from fossilized mosquitoes. They try to resurrect the extinct dinosaurs. However, technical malfunctions lead to several dinosaurs escaping out Outside its confines, pushing the characters to fight for their survival on the island of Isla Sorna. The franchise boasts several dinosaur species which have been made as historically accurate as possible. We get to see the terrifying Tyrannosaurus rex or the T-Rex which is known to be the most powerful carnivorous predator with its sharp teeth, massive size and powerful jaws. The Velociraptors are portrayed as cunning and intelligent predators and the artists have endowed them with sizes larger than they used to realize be in order to crank up the threat levels. The Dilophosaurus appears with a frill around its neck and the added advantage of being able to spit venom. The 2015 movie Jurassic World introduces us to the genetically engineered Indominus Rex, which is a hybrid species created using the genetic traits of various dinosaurs. As a result, it is a highly capable and intelligent predator. Carnivores aside, the franchise also boasts a herd of herbivorous dinosaurs such as the Triceratops. Stegosaurus and the Brachiosaurus. The film lays heavy emphasis on what happens if man plays with nature and the consequences of humans attempting to coexist with powerful predatory animals.
Godzilla 2014. If a T-Rex was a Pokemon, it would evolve to become the Godzilla, a colossal, radioactive and prehistoric creature or kaiju. Godzilla originated in a 1954 Japanese film created by Ishiro Honda. Its success has led to several readaptations featuring the kaiju, both in Japan and in the West. Awakened and mutated by nuclear radiation, the Godzilla in the 2014 film also boasts the ability of having atomic breath, which amplifies its destructive ability. When humanity comes face to face with such a foe, they are in shambles as they try to figure out the scale of the monster's powers and the method of taking it down. With the expansion of the Godzilla franchise, we are also introduced to several other kaijus that battle the Godzilla and end up causing large-scale collateral damage. However, the giant reptilian monster maintains its position of being the most fear-inducing creature throughout the franchise, and we have several attributes to blame or thank for that. For starters, the Godzilla's size allows it to tower over buildings as well as the other kaijus. Its textured skin and dinosaur-like appearance comes equipped with dorsal plates running down the Godzilla's back. Its strength and robustness allows it to withstand attacks from heavy weaponry and artillery, including missiles. Its feared atomic breath releases concentrated radiation that incinerates its foes. It also has a powerful tail and can swim for long distances, allowing it to wreak havoc in coastal cities. Interestingly, certain adaptations of the Godzilla have added an ability for the creature to regenerate and self-heal. The movies from the Godzilla franchise generate awareness about environmental concerns and the drawbacks of tampering too much with nuclear weapons. In some cases, the Godzilla has also been portrayed as a heroic figure as it helps humans in their fights against other kaijus. Kong, Skull Island, 2017 The 2017 action-adventure film of Kong, Skull Island introduces viewers to a fictional island brimming with dangerous fantasy creatures. However, the cake for the most notable monster is taken by King Kong himself, as the iconic ape is encountered by the explorers who venture into the mysterious Skull Island. The expedition begins following the end of the Vietnam War in 1973, and it does not take the crew much time to learn that the Skull Island is home to several colossal creatures. Meanwhile, King Kong acts as the island's protector. However, there is more to it than what meets the eye, since a secret organization is trying to attain control over the creatures of the island. With Kong being the primary antagonist in the film, it is natural for him to be the alpha predator. Several reasons combine to give basis to his title. Firstly, the 100 feet Kong towers over not just the humans, but also over every other creature within the Skull Island. His incredible physical prowess and combat skills alongside enhanced intelligence make him a formidable foe as seen in his battles against the skull crawlers. However, he is also capable of having complex emotions, which is evident from his need to protect the indigenous people of Skull Island from the other natural predators there. In fact, he is the protector and the guardian of the island who ensures the survival of its ecosystem. Enhanced intelligence and emotions come with an ability to form connections with humans, as Kong has been empathetic to a select human character such as Hank Marlow. He also protects the characters from other dangerous creatures when necessary. The combination of his colossal formidability and his more vulnerable emotional nature makes Kong a cut above the rest when compared to the malevolent creatures in most creature-orientated movies. Most of his acts of violence are committed as a form of self-defense or to protect his companions. Kong Skull Island also creates the basis for King Kong to finally encounter Godzilla in Godzilla vs. Kong. Tremors, 1990. The science fiction and horror comedy film Tremors takes us to the small desert town of perfection in Nevada. While Valentin McKee and Earl Bassett dream of leaving the town, their plans are soon foiled by attacks from terrifying subterranean creatures known as the Graboids. These beings are massive in size and worm-like in structure. They come equipped with powerful tentacles, which add a Lovecraftian flavor to them. They operate by sensing the vibrations on the surface as they use these movements to look their prey. They subsequently burrow through the grounds and attack when they close in on their targets. These carnivorous creatures wreak havoc across perfection, forcing the townspeople to band together and work against the threat in a desperate attempt for survival. These graboids are hard to fight against due to their immense strength and durable muscular bodies. In fact, the graboids can burst through strong structures made of rock and concrete, allowing them to devastate buildings. On capturing their prey, the graboids deploy their tentacle-like appendages or their tongue 
tongue lined with sharp teeth, which they use to immobilize and consume their prey. The graboids also evolved from their not-so-humble beginnings as they turn into the snake-like shriekers. In this new form, they attain enhanced speed and the ability to reproduce asexually, make it easier for them to increase their numbers. Continued evolution leads to them turning into the ass blasters that can fly and project fireballs. Throughout the form, the graboids navigate the underground using self-built tunnels. As a result, the cast is left with no option but to create elaborate plans that will allow them to fight the much stronger foe. Their unpredictability makes them even more dangerous, while the movie continues to retain elements of horror and suspense due to it. However, not all is dark and fearsome in perfection, as the film laces itself with elements of comedic encounters with the graboids to diffuse the tensions. Lake Placid 1999 The 1999 horror comedy Lake Placid exposes us to a petrifying crocodile in the waters of the Black Lake. With mysterious deaths plaguing the fictional town of Lake Placid in Maine, the crew sets out on a journey to shed light on the hidden truth. However, things prove to be a lot more twisted than a simple mystery with a killer, as the crew must now face a highly aggressive and ferocious prehistoric crocodile who has been the culprit behind the killings. Although crocodiles are quite dangerous in real life, Lake Placid brings to us a massive crocodile whose size has been exaggerated in the fictional work for dramatic effect. It is much more cunning than the average crocodile because although the latter is an apex predator, it generally sticks to preying on smaller animals. The fictional crocodile is also very dedicated to its hunt, pursuing its targets even on the land that surrounds the Black Lake. Despite the characters trying their best to survive the unforeseen encounters that they have to face, they are not very capable of going against the overwhelmingly formidable predator. Naturally, they begin to turn into the crocodile's meals and have to rely on their wits to outsmart this nigh-invincible opponent. The film's success did not match that of its creature film counterparts such as Godzilla and Anaconda, but it did go on to become a cult classic as it offered a blend of horror with thriller and comedy. Rampage 2018 The 2018 film Rampage follows its 1980s video game predecessor where we get to see the repercussions of a genetic experimentation gone wrong. With the accidental creation of a pathogen by a seemingly evil corporation, animals including an albino gorilla named George transform into enormously sized aggressive predators. George in particular undergoes uncontrollable growth and commences his rampage as per the name of the film. Primatologist David Okoye is left with no choice but to team up with a genetic engineer as they hope to cure George and bring an end to the havoc wreaked by him and his companions. Although George is initially docile and friendly, his aggressiveness poses a significant threat to the infrastructure of the cities. He is joined by a mutated wolf named Ralph and another mutated crocodile named Lizzie. Fortunately, George retains his intelligence despite becoming ferocious, which allows Davis to communicate with him. It is clear that although George is causing severe destruction, he is only doing it as a result of the pathogen and not out of malice. It is soon discovered that the evil corporation orchestrated this accident to utilize the aggressive creatures for profits and military reasons. High in action and adventure, George proves to be a lot more than an aggressive military weapon as he forms an unlikely companionship with Davis. Crocodile Island 2020 2020 Chinese action monster film Crocodile Island revolves around a father-daughter duo. While they are on a flight crossing the Devil Sea or the Bermuda Triangle of Asia, electromagnetic interference begins to cause a malfunction in the plane. As a result, the plane is forced to undergo an emergency landing on a crocodile island where the duo and other passengers soon come face to face with its inhabitants. These inhabitants are far from being the traditional exotic animals found on uncharted territories and instead prove to be beast-sized spiders and crocodiles. Thus begin their battle for survival, which only gets worse when the man's daughter is captured by the giant beasts. The cast, especially the protagonist, Galen Lowe, has to fight for his life against a gigantic crocodile that is over 25 times bigger than the regular crocodile. Similar to its creature film counterparts, this crocodile is also a lot more predatory and aggressive than realistic crocodiles. However, it is its durable skin that is resistant to bullets and harsh, scaly texture that makes the crocodile a super tough nut to crack.
Pacific Rim 2013. Guillermo del Toro's science fiction film Pacific Rim introduces us to the colossal creatures known as Kaiju. An interdimensional portal located at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean soon reveals to be the doorway for these Kaijus as they come to Earth's surface and devastate the coastal cities. With humanity being able to do little or nothing against the threat initially, the future of humanity turns dark. At least until the world comes together to form huge mechs called Jaggers, meant to fight these Kaijus. Originally, the Kaijus were created by a species called the Precursors, who intended to use them to colonize Earth. Although they had attempted to do so during the Triassic period, the planet's uninhabitable atmosphere prevented them from attaining their objectives. As such, they seceded to the background and planned to return once the environment was suitable enough for their sustenance. With the rise of humanity and the subsequent pollution, the Precursors created the amphibious Kaiju to use them as their biological weapons against the people of Earth. They also created a link between their antiverse and planet Earth, forming the interdimensional portal at the Mariana Trench. With the advent of the Kaiju, their threat levels were categorized by 1 to 5 on the Serizawa scale, with 1 being the least formidable and 5 being the most. Not only were these biological weapons physically superior, their destructive capabilities were only amplified by damaging them as their acidic blood corroded anything it touched. With respect to size, the Kaiju were over hundreds of feet tall and weighed over a thousand tons. They were durable enough to withstand high pressure, heat, and even survive in space. Typically aggressive when amidst battle, the Kaiju also have a hive mind system which they used for communication and synchronized attacks. Equipped with superior intelligence, size, and strength, they made their mark on humanity as the most dangerous biological weapon ever to exist. The Meg, Meg shot for Megalodon becomes the name for a prehistoric shark that lurks in the depths of the Mariana Trench. The deep sea remains vastly unexplored, allowing writers to have the artistic and creative freedom to craft creatures from their minds, instead of having to stick to what is realistic. This results in the advent of a massive prehistoric shark which had apparently been extinct for millions of years. And yet it is encountered by a group of deep sea divers and scientists as they explore the Mariana Trench. Trench. Highly aggressive in temperament, the Meg sets its eyes upon various targets such as marine creatures, boats, and submarines. As an intelligent hunter, the Meg is also capable of strategizing against its prey, which is evident from the surprise attacks launched by the shark. With its massive size, it causes immense destruction to anything in its path. It also swims at high speeds and goes after every unfortunate diver or swimmer that happens to come across it. As the crew gets stranded in an underwater research station, they must stand tall against the predator and prevent it from resurfacing and wreaking havoc on the ecosystem of the Pacific Ocean. In the Heart of the Sea 2015, the historical adventure film known as In the Heart of the Sea bases itself on the non-fictional book of the same name by Nathaniel Philbrick. The book centers itself around recounting the events that inspired Herman Melville's Moby Dick. In the film, we are told the story of a whaling ship named Essex, which set sail in 1820 as the crew embarks on a voyage to find whale oil. However, their journey leads them to an encounter with an aggressive sperm whale named Moby Dick. As they begin to pursue the whale, the crew falls victim to perils such as reduction of supplies and fierce storms. But such perils soon find their cherry on top as Moby Dick retaliates against the crew that has been hunting it down and rams into the ship with immense force. The vessel is soon damaged, but Moby Dick does not stop. It continues to attack it relentlessly until the Essex sinks. The crew resorts to using small lifeboats to survive Moby Dick's attack, but the aggressive sperm whale comes at them with a vengeance once again as it continues to stop the lifeboat. With their lives constantly at stake, the surviving members of the crew fall victim to their lack of resources, poor mental state, and anxiety. The despair leads the crew into questioning their place in the world as the film uses Moby Dick to portray the destructive nature of obsession. Cloverfield 
2008. Cloverfield is a 2008 sci-fi thriller with its premise in New York City. The story follows a group of friends who are recording a going-away party. However, as the party picks space, the city gets attacked by a massive monster. Chaos ensues while the cast tries to rescue a friend who is trapped in her apartment. They witness the military trying to fight off the creature and proceed to encounter deadly creatures that have spawned from the massive monster. Also known as the Cloverfield Monster, the movie keeps the origins of the monster vague, making it visible only from time to time, from the point of view of the character's shaky handheld camera. However, from what little we see of it, it is evident that the Cloverfield Monster is a ginormous reptilian creature with a roar, a long tail, and several legs. It possesses immense strength and durability, allowing it to wreak havoc across New York City without sustaining much damage itself. It also spawns parasitic creatures known as the lice or Cloverfield parasites. However, they are far more from being anything similar to the stereotypical microscopic parasites as they look similar to spiders. Like its parent, these parasites are aggressive and prone to attacking and consuming humans. However, they have an edge over the main monster when it comes to speed, agility and being nimble. Throughout the movie, the Cloverfield monster demolishes the buildings, infrastructure and vehicles in New York York City, courtesy of its enormous threat. It attacks people by swiping or snatching them up, in the process causing casualties as well. In fact, it causes tremendous collateral damage. The handheld camera style used throughout the movie adds an extra layer of terror to the acts committed by the Cloverfield monster, as the audience gets to live the horror from the point of view of the protagonist. Dragon Wars D War 2007 The 2007 fantasy action film known as Dragon Wars or D War is a blend of modern day Los Angeles with Korean mythology. The story follows Ethan Kendrick, who finds himself getting entangled with an ancient conflict when he learns that he has reincarnated from a warrior and it is his destiny to protect a woman named Sarah. However, Ethan and Sarah soon start to get pursued by a malevolent serpentine creature. This creature has the simple goal of capturing Sarah and and sacrificing her to awaken a destructive dragon. With the story following the battles between dragons and mythical creatures, it only makes sense. The dragons cause chaos, provoking the involvement of the military. These dragons are also colossal in stature and possess tremendous physical prowess. Like its creature counterparts in other films of the same genre, the dragons can topple buildings and cause large-scale devastation. They can also exhale blasts of elements such as fire and lightning, allowing them to incinerate anything they consider to be an obstacle. Meanwhile, its body is protected by impenetrable scales and armored plating, making the dragons resistant to the conventional weapons used by the military. These mythical creatures have the ability to regenerate and heal quickly from their injuries. And finally, being ancient creatures, the dragons have knowledge and wisdom that they have accumulated over centuries. They understand ancient prophecies and have access to magical abilities that make them harder to defeat in battle. All in all, Dragon War takes heavy inspiration from dragon-centric lore, from Korean legends and folktales and present it within a modern premise where ancient creatures find their way into the present-day world. Python 2000 Horror comedy film Python brings to us an enormous Burmese python that has been genetically engineered. Unfortunately, the python engineered by a highly secretive military research facility goes on to find itself outside of its confines when reckless criminals free it. Its enhanced genetics allow the python to grow a lot more rapidly and a lot larger than the average python. As you may have guessed, the python also becomes highly aggressive with its growth and embarks on a devastating journey to prey on the innocent people of the town. Its attacks bring chaos and panic around it, calling for the creation of a crew with capable individuals who can seemingly bring the python's rampage to an end. However, the python continues to claim more and more victims, filling the town and the film with elements of suspense and horror. The reptilian predator also goes on to kill several people alongside the herpetologist assigned to bring it down. However, he only claims the last guy because he sacrifices himself as he lets the snake swallow him whole while he carries a bomb. The film is horrifying and boasts overwhelming action sequences but the terror across the story is toned down from time to time with the occasional comedy. Like any other creature film, Python also witnesses conflict within the crew assembled to take it down, while they are forced to cooperate with one another in an attempt to outwit and defeat the apex predator.
Eight-Legged Freaks 2002. Eight-Legged Freaks is a 2002 horror comedy film set in the desert town of Prosperity in Arizona. With toxic waste barrels getting accidentally dumped into the town's local water supply, a subsequent growth and mutation is experienced by the spiders in the town. Once small, these spiders go on to become enormous and aggressive as they develop insatiable appetites, making them the titular eight-legged freaks. Several people, including the local sheriff of the town, join hands to form a spider annihilation team as they set out to defeat these eight-legged freaks with their weapons and wits. However, these mutated arachnids are far more formidable than one can imagine. Now, predators in society, the spiders attack and hunt people as they use their strength or venom to incapacitate, if not kill, their victims. They also cause widespread destruction to the infrastructure of the town as they continuously wreak havoc across prosperity. Aside from creating chaos, the spiders coordinate their attacks as they are shown to be somewhat intelligent. They work together to corner their prey and strategically surround the areas to prevent the victim's escape. They also possess enhanced speed and agility as they climb across walls without much effort despite being enormous in size. And finally, these eight-legged freaks possess the ability to spin webs, which they use to create traps and capture their prey. The movie blends comedy, thriller and horror with one another as it pays homage to the creature feature genre. This is made evident by the imagery of ordinary humans fighting oversized spiders, the idea of which is as comical as it is terrifying. Mimic 1997 Guillermo del Toro's 1997 film Mimic is one of the several entries in our list that revolve around the consequences of genetic experimentation gone wrong. Set in New York City, which becomes the epicenter of a deadly disease known as the Strickler's disease, the children are the first to fall victim to it. With disease-carrying cockroaches being the root behind the outbreak, an experimental solution is crafted by two doctors. They genetically engineer an insect known as the Judas breed, which is made to mimic natural predators by releasing a chemical that can kill the cockroaches. The experiment proves to be successful in its initial stages and the Judas breed manages to reduce the population of the carrier cockroaches. But things begin to take a turn for the worse three years later when we get to see how these roaches have not only survived but have evolved into human-sized creatures that can mimic the appearances of humans. Now known as mimics, these predatory creatures infiltrate the tunnels and subways beneath New York City and prey on humans. These creatures have an exoskeleton with a sleek and slender body. With their segmented, insect-like appearances laced with human elements, the mimics look eerie and enormously creepy. Their ability to mimic also allows them to not just look like humans, but also behave like one, making it easy for them to blend in with the crowd. Of course, this also means that they boast intelligence that is exponentially higher than that of the average insect, as it can think strategically, solve problems, and outwit humans when it comes to hunting. Needless to say, their evolved size makes them a lot stronger than their natural counterparts. The film explores the themes of what happens when man tries to tamper with nature, which seems to be commonplace within the creature feature genre. Bore 2017 Australian horror film Bore, which hit the screens in 2017, follows a massive bore with a terrifying bloodlust. The story begins with a camping trip in a secluded area where a group of friends soon encounter an enormous and aggressive boar. This boar does not discriminate when it comes to its victims, in the sense that it ruthlessly attacks both humans and animals alike. To combat the monstrous boar, the campers join hands with the townsfolk and together attempt to take down the intelligent and unstoppable adversary. However, the boar is more than a casual menace to deal with. Firstly, it is exceptionally powerful and large and by large we mean large enough to tower over humans. Its aggression and ferocity also makes it stubborn, which basically means that if you think you have outrun the boar, think again, because there is no way it has given up. This boar is merciless and kills without showing any signs of hesitation. You would think that its size would hinder its speed, but this is simply not the case here, as the boar has the ability to move stealthily and quickly. And finally, the boar possesses intelligence far superior to that of the average boar, making it capable of conducting stealthy attacks and evading complex plans created by humans to stop it. With the boar's tremendous determination at its aid, the townsfolk and campers do not find it easy to take the beast down. On the bright side, turning such a massive boar into a prey would feed the entire town for days.
Piranaconda, 2012. The piranha and the anaconda, two of the most dangerous predators that lurk in the Amazon rainforests, find themselves as one. In the 2012 film Piranaconda, mad scientists create this hybrid creature which escapes its lab during the shooting of a low-budget horror film in Hawaii. Now free, the fearsome Piranaconda commences its attack by terrorizing the island. Because of its aggressive nature, the Piranaconda goes on a killing spree, prompting the creation of a ragtag group with the filmmakers, the local authorities and the other characters. Together, they try to stop the Piranaconda before the monster claims more lives. But like most other movies in the list, this crew experiences personal conflicts within the group as well. Because the creature is a hybrid, it possesses dual predatory traits of both the Piranha and the Anaconda. It has the sharp teeth, speed and the ability to tear its prey like a Piranha. Meanwhile, it has the strength, size and the constraints restricting prowess of an anaconda. The piranaconda also possesses the aggressive hunting instinct that is innate to both the piranha and the anaconda. The piranaconda is able to adapt to its environment as it can navigate various terrains, giving it the advantage of ambushing its victims. The creature is also way too determined as it relentlessly pursues its targets and does not stop until it captures and devours them. Despite the dangerous nature of the piranaconda, the film in itself is more campy, with its comedic moments that are sprinkled around the thrill and the gore. Love and Monsters 2020 And finally, we have the 2020 movie Love and Monsters, which takes us into a post-apocalyptic world where giant monsters have taken over planet Earth. With their colonization, humanity has been pushed to the underground, where they live in colonies. It all began with asteroids almost touching down on Earth. However, they were neutralized as chemicals were released into the atmosphere. Although this prevented Earth's surface from being devastated by the asteroids, the chemicals unintentionally intentionally resulted in the mutation and creation of gigantic creatures on Earth. Ordinary insects grew in size and turned into aggressive and beastly creatures. With their overwhelming power, they soon rose to the top of the food chain on Earth, becoming its dominant species. Naturally, humans had no choice but to live in hiding. The story begins when the protagonist Joel decides to venture out of his bunker and into the dangerous surface world in an attempt to reunite with his estranged girlfriend, Amy. On his journey, Joel comes across several interesting creatures across the monster-infested landscape. He encounters the crab squids, which are a hybridized crab and squid amalgamation. These creatures have multiple tentacles and legs, making them formidable predators both on land and water. Joel also meets amphibious creatures with powerful jaws, sharp teeth, and a taste for launching surprise attacks on its prey. He sees giant insects and giant snakes. Not only are these creatures colossal in size and aggressive in temperament, but they possess a diverse array of abilities due to the sheer diversity of the mutated monsters. The creatures differ in their threat levels, but they are mostly capable of being adaptable to the atmosphere they are exposed to. They can also adapt to changing circumstances, making it harder for the humans to predict their next move. These creatures are intelligent as well. Well, not all of them, but some do have a fair ability to think strategically. With Joel having limited survival skills, his journey to Amy is far from being a romantic one on a peaceful boat ride. The film also adds a twist to the creature feature genre with the elements of love and romance added to it, making the film less horrifying and more adventure oriented. Jaws. Get ready to dive into the thrilling depths of Jaws, a movie that will keep you on the edge of your seat and make you think twice about venturing into the ocean. Set in the picturesque New England beachy town of Amity Island, this film takes us on a terrifying journey as a bloodthirsty predator lurks beneath the waves, a deadly shark. It all starts innocently enough with a moonlit beach party and a daring skinny dip. But when young Chrissy Watkins becomes the victim of an unseen force, Course, the tranquil waters turn into a hunting ground for a ruthless killer. As the body count rises, police chief Martin Brody is torn between his duty to protect the town and the relentless pursuit of the truth. The tension escalates when a young boy falls victim to the shark's wrath, 
forcing the town to face the horrifying reality. A bounty is placed on the creature's head, attracting a chaotic frenzy of amateur shark hunters. Amidst the chaos, the enigmatic and seasoned shark fisherman Quint emerges, offering his expertise for a steep price. With every twist and turn, the suspense builds as the town grapples with denial and the desperate fight for survival. Brody teams up with oceanographer Matt Hooper, a man with a deep understanding of the predator they face. Together, they embark on a treacherous mission aboard Quint's legendary vessel, the Orca, determined to rid the waters of this monstrous threat. As the trio faces the relentless beast, tensions mount, secrets are revealed, and the battle for survival reaches its climax. With heart-stopping moments and a nail-biting finale, Jaws will leave you breathless. This timeless classic serves as a chilling reminder that even the most idyllic settings can harbor unimaginable danger. It taps into our primal fear of the unknown lurking beneath the surface and explores the human struggle against overwhelming odds. Jaws is a masterclass in suspense and a testament to the power of storytelling. Abominable 2006 In the chilling thriller Abominable, a group of unsuspecting individuals find themselves face to face with a monstrous creature lurking in the shadows of the deep woods. The tale begins with a series of mysterious incidents as farmers Billy and Ethel Hoss experience a horrifying encounter with a massive figure, leaving them terrified and bewildered. As the story unfolds, we are introduced to Preston Rogers, a paraplegic wheelchair user and his caretaker Otis. Seeing solace in a secluded cabin, they are unaware of the terror that awaits them. Nearby, a bachelorette party takes place, but the festivities quickly turn into a nightmare when one of the women, Karen, vanishes without a trace. In a race against time, Preston becomes the only witness to the monster's presence, but struggles to convince others of the imminent danger. Fear grips the hearts of the group as they come face to face with the abominable creature. Desperate for help, Preston tries to reach out to the authorities, only to be met with skepticism and dismissal. With each passing moment, the horrifying reality becomes more apparent as the creature claims more lives, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Driven by a primal instinct for survival, Preston and Amanda, the sole survivor of the Bachelorette party, form a plan to trap the beast and escape its clutches. As they navigate treacherous obstacles and confront their deepest fears, they find strength in each other's company, forging an unlikely alliance against the unstoppable force of nature. The suspense reaches its zenith when the power goes out and the creature invades their cabin, forcing them to make a daring escape. Their harrowing journey brings them face to face with unimaginable horrors and tests their resilience. Together, they fight for their lives, relying on their wits and resourcefulness to outmaneuver the relentless beasts. Abominable explores themes of survival, courage, and the indomitable human spirit in the face of the unknown. It keeps audiences on the edge of their seats with its heart-pounding suspense and breathtaking visuals. As the story reaches its climax, the film leaves us questioning the boundaries of our own fears and the depths of our strength. Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus 2009 Megalodon vs. Giant Octopus is a thrilling film that unleashes ancient sea monsters upon the world. Oceanographer Emma McNeil inadvertently sets free a massive Megalodon shark and a monstrous giant octopus while studying the migration patterns of whales. As chaos ensues, McNeil, along with a former professor and a Japanese scientist, must find a way to stop the creatures before they wreak havoc on humanity. The film combines combines intense action with a touch of romance as McNeil and Dr. Sheiji Shimada find a connection amidst the chaos. Together, they devise a plan to lure the creatures into a climactic battle, hoping to end their destructive rampage. With breathtaking visuals and suspense, Megalodon vs. Giant Octopus explores the consequences of tampering with nature and the resilience of the natural world. As the creatures clash and the fate of humanity hangs in the balance, the film keeps viewers on the edge of their seats until the final moments. The movie gained popularity and love for its nostalgic charm, thrilling action sequences, spectacular visual effects, engaging characters, and its ability to provide escapist entertainment. The film tapped into the timeless appeal of creature features, showcasing an epic battle between the Megalodon shark and the giant octopus. With a nod to classic monster movies, it captured the hearts of viewers, 
offering a thrilling and visually stunning experience. The relatable protagonists and their unexpected romance added depth to the story, while the film's ability to transport audiences into a world where giant monsters roamed provided an exciting escape from reality. Komodo vs. Cobra 2005 Prepare for an epic clash of giant proportions in Komodo vs. Cobra. This thrilling 2005 film takes you on a wild ride as two predators, the mighty Komodo dragon and the deadly cobra, battle it out on a remote island. Directed by the talented Jim Wynorski, this sequel to Curse of the Komodo unleashes an onslaught of action, suspense and monstrous reptilian creatures. The story follows a brave team of environmentalists accompanied by a determined reporter and her camera crew as they embark on a journey to uncover illegal activities on a military island. Little do they know that their mission will lead them to a horrifying discovery. The island is home to a top secret experiment gone wrong where both Komodo dragons and cobras have been exposed to a compound that causes them to grow to enormous sizes. As chaos ensues and the creatures begin to ravage the island, the group must fight for their lives and find a way to escape. With each passing moment, the danger intensifies as they face not only the ferocity of the reptilian giants but also the military's decision to bomb the island, unaware that survivors are still there. Amidst the gripping battles and heart-pounding chase scenes, the film explores themes of scientific experimentation gone awry and the consequences of tampering with nature. It delves into the moral dilemmas faced by the characters and the lengths they are willing to go to survive. The final showdown between the Komodo and the Cobra is a spectacle to behold as the these colossal creatures clash in a battle for dominance. As the film reaches its explosive climax, the fate of the island and its remaining inhabitants hangs in the balance. Komodo vs. Cobra is a creature feature that combines elements of horror, adventure and science fiction. It's a thrilling roller coaster ride that will keep you on the edge of your seat until the very end. So get ready to witness the epic clash of these legendary creatures and brace yourself for a wild ride that you won't forget. It came from the desert, 2017. Prepare to embark on a thrilling adventure that combines the nostalgia of classic B-movies with the excitement of a cult video game. It came from the desert takes you on a wild ride through the desert where dirt bike racer Lucas and his trusty mechanic Brian find themselves facing off against a monstrous menace. The film, inspired by the game developed for the Amiga computer system in the late 1980s, pays homage to the creature features of the 1950s. 50s while embracing its own low-budget charm. Lucas and Brian venture into the desert for a weekend of racing and revelry, but their plans take an unexpected turn when they stumble upon an abandoned facility. Unbeknownst to them, the facility harbors a horrifying secret, a giant ant lurking in the shadows, hungry for human prey. As our heroes find themselves in a perilous situation, they are joined by Lisa, a fearless axe-wielding savior. Together, they must escape the clutches of the monstrous ant and put an end to its colony before its insidious influence can spread further. Along the way, they encounter mad scientists, alien DNA and even ant-tarantula hybrids, creating a concoction of thrills and chills. The film also cleverly incorporates elements from video games, with our heroes gaining a power-up through prototype weapons. These nods are skillfully integrated, enhancing the overall experience without detracting from the narrative. Despite its modest budget, the film delivers impressive effects. The CGI used to bring the giant ants to life is surprisingly well executed and the practical gore effects add an extra layer of visceral excitement. While there are occasional moments where the screen work and animation effects become apparent, they serve as deliberate nods to the films that inspired It Came From The Desert, adding to its charm. Director Marco Machilazzo, along with co-writers Hank Wood Jr. and Trent Hager, infuses the film with a genuine love for the material. With a light-hearted touch, they create a delightful spoof that never descends into mockery or condescension. Unlike the heavy-handed approach of some parody films, It Came From The Desert strikes a perfect balance, delivering laughs and thrills in equal measure. Mega Piranha 2009 The movie Mega Piranha revolves around the theme of a deadly predator 
unleashed upon the world due to human interference with nature. The genetically modified mega piranhas, larger and more aggressive than their natural counterparts, embark on a relentless killing spree, leaving destruction in their wake as they make their way towards heavily populated areas. The film explores the concept of man's responsibility for the consequences of tampering with nature and the desperate measures required to contain the threat. Despite its B-movie status, Mega Piranha gained a cult following. The movie embraces its campy nature, offering audiences an entertaining and self-aware experience. The blend of suspense, horror and exhilarating moments appeals to fans of creature feature films and those seeking an adrenaline-filled adventure. The popularity of Mega Piranha can be attributed to its ability to provide an escape from reality, immersing viewers in a world where genetically modified predators reign supreme. The film's audacious and imaginative storyline, combined with its campy charm, makes it an enjoyable watch for those seeking mindless entertainment and a nostalgic nod to classic monster movies. Additionally, the film's exaggerated action sequences and enormous creatures have garnered attention and appreciation from fans of the creature feature genre. Spiders 2000 In the annals of cinema, there are certain films that manage to weave a web of intrigue, terror and awe-inspiring spectacle. Among these formidable contenders is the movie titled Spiders 2000, an arachnid-infused masterpiece that will send shivers down your spine and make you question the very foundations of genetic experimentation. This enthralling tale revolves around a top-secret NASA experiment that dared to tamper with the DNA of a rare breed of spiders. The consequences of their audacity unfold when a catastrophic meteor shower diverts the space shuttle back to Earth, resulting in a fateful crash. One of the survivors emerged from the wreckage, but little does this unfortunate soul know that there is a chilling burden in its womb, a venomous legacy left behind by a genetically mutated spider. As the survivor unwittingly becomes a host, a horrifying chain of events is set into motion. From the depths of their own body, a monstrous Spider emerges, giving birth to a brood of ever-growing, genetically twisted progeny. With each kill, these arachnid abominations increase in size, wreaking havoc upon the unsuspecting streets of Los Angeles. Prepare to be mesmerized as chaos reigns supreme, with a colossal killer spider reigning as the harbinger of mayhem. The cityscape becomes a battleground, a stage for the clash of survival and the relentless pursuit of an insatiable hunger. This movie stands as a testament to the enduring allure of the horror genre, captivating audiences with its daring premise and enthralling execution. Monster from the Deep 1967. Monster from the Deep is a thrilling South Korean film that takes audiences on a wild ride as a massive earthquake unleashes a colossal creature named Yongari. As chaos ensues and the military's attempts to defeat the monster fail, it is up to a determined scientist, Il Wu, and his allies to find a way to stop Yongari's rampage. With breathtaking destruction, epic battles, and a touch of unexpected humor, the film keeps viewers on the curiosity train. As the tension rises, secrets about Yongari's weaknesses and eating habits are uncovered, leading to a climactic showdown in the Han River. Filled with sacrifices, heroism, and the exploration of nature's complexity, Monster from the Deep is a riveting tale that captures the enduring allure of giant monster films. Its popularity stems from its perfect blend of spectacle, emotion, and an unforgettable monster at its core. Brace yourself for an exhilarating cinematic experience that will leave you in awe and keep you entertained from start to finish. Death Kappa 2010 Death Kappa is an exhilarating and action-packed monster film that takes audiences on a wild ride through the streets of Japan. The story follows Kanako, a failed idol singer who becomes entangled in a dangerous plot involving a mummified kappa, fish-like creatures, and a radical group seeking to revive Japan's imperialistic past. As Kanako fights to protect herself and the kappa, chaos ensues, leading to the emergence of a colossal monster named Hangi. 
Angulas. With jaw-dropping special effects, epic battles, and a touch of dark humor, Death Kappa captivates viewers from start to finish. The film showcases the clash between traditional Japanese folklore and the destructive forces of modern technology. As Hangulus wreaks havoc and the Japanese self-defense forces struggle to defeat the invincible monster, hope seems lost. But when the transformed Kappa, now known as Death Kappa, emerges, the battle takes an unexpected turn. The film's popularity lies in its ability to combine thrilling monster battles with thought-provoking themes. It explores the consequences of humanity's disregard for mythical creatures and the forgotten values of Japanese culture. Kanako's bravery and determination, along with the poignant relationship between her and Death Kappa, add depth and emotion to the story. The Mighty Peking Man, 1977. The Mighty Peking Man is a thrilling and action-packed monster movie that takes audiences on a wild adventure from the Himalayas to the bustling city of Hong Kong. The film follows Johnny, a fearless explorer, and his encounters with a legendary creature known as Utam, the Mighty Peking Man. The theme of the movie revolves around the clash between nature and civilization, as well as the bond between humans and animals, highlighting the importance of respecting and preserving nature's wonders. With stunning visuals and intense action sequences, the film captivates viewers with its larger-than-life battles and breathtaking stunts. The popularity of The Mighty Peking Man lies in its nostalgic charm and homage to classic monster movies. It combines elements of adventure, romance, and thrilling creature encounters, creating a unique and entertaining experience for audiences. The chemistry between Johnny and Samantha, the wild woman raised by Utam, adds depth and emotion to the story as they navigate their way through danger and unexpected love. The film's climax, set amidst the towering buildings of Hong Kong, showcases the destructive power of Utam and the determination of Johnny and Samantha to save him. The action-packed finale leaves viewers with a nail-biting experience as helicopters, explosives and epic battles ensue. Pulgasari 1985. Pulgasari is a popular monster movie set in feudal Korea during the Goryeo dynasty. It tells the story of a metal-eating monster named Pulgasari, brought to life by the blood of a blacksmith's daughter. Pulgasari becomes a powerful force fighting against the oppressive regime, joining forces with the peasants in their rebellion. However, Pulgasari's insatiable hunger for metal starts to pose a threat to the very people he is meant to protect. The blacksmith's daughter realizes the unintended consequences and sacrifices herself to save the people. The film explores themes of rebellion, oppression, sacrifice, and the complexities of power. Pulgasari gained international recognition for its unique cultural perspective, impressive visual effects, and thrilling battle sequences. It combines historical elements with fantasy, creating a captivating and thought-provoking cinematic experience. With its compelling narrative, thought-provoking themes, and visually stunning moments, Pulgasari remains a beloved and intriguing addition to the monster movie genre. It resonates with audiences by exploring timeless themes. Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid, 2004. Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid is an exhilarating adventure film that takes viewers on a thrilling journey deep into the jungles of Borneo. The movie follows a team of researchers from New York as they embark on a quest to find the elusive blood orchid, a rare flower believed to hold the secret to immortality. Led by the determined Dr. Jack Byron, the team faces numerous obstacles and dangers along the way. The film explores themes of greed, survival and the consequences of tampering with nature. As the team delves deeper into the treacherous jungle, they encounter not only the giant anacondas that protect the orchids, but also their own inner demons. The pursuit of immortality becomes a catalyst for betrayal and madness, as characters are tested both physically and morally. The popularity of this movie lies in its thrilling storyline, heart-pounding action sequences, and jaw-dropping visual effects. The giant anacondas provide a 
formidable and terrifying antagonist, creating suspense and tension throughout the film. The movie's lush and exotic setting adds to its appeal, immersing audiences in the untamed beauty of the Bornean rainforests. Released in 2004, it garnered a dedicated fan base who were drawn to its mix of adventure, horror and suspense. Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid provides an exhilarating cinematic experience, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats until the very end. Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus 2010 Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus takes audiences on a thrilling ride as two colossal prehistoric creatures clash in an epic battle. This is the sequel to the Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus 2009. Set in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Atlantic Ocean, the movie follows Lieutenant Terry McCormick, who becomes the sole survivor of a megalodon attack on a US Navy warship. Meanwhile, an English hunter named Nigel Putnam captures is a massive crocodile awakened by illegal diamond mining. As the story unfolds, the megalodon and crocodile wreak havoc, leading to a high-stakes mission to stop their destructive rampage. The film combines intense action, suspense, and jaw-dropping visual effects to create an engaging cinematic experience. Released in 2010, it captured the attention of audiences who were drawn to its thrilling premise and enormous battles between these ancient beasts. The popularity of the movie stemmed from its ability to deliver on the promise of an action-packed creature feature. Fans were captivated by the sheer scale and ferocity of the megalodon and crocodile, as well as the intense confrontations between them. The film's thrilling sequences and unexpected twists kept viewers thrilled, making it a favorite among fans of creature feature thrillers. With its exciting premise and thrilling execution, Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus solidified its place as an entertaining and popular entry in the creature feature genre. Gila. In the 2012 movie Gila, a rural community is terrorized by a giant lizard. Led by the courageous Chase Winstead, a group of young individuals take on the task of eliminating the creature. Their initial attempts to destroy it only makes the lizard more formidable. As the danger and threat escalate and the creature sets its sights on the Winstead homestead, Chase devises a daring plan. Fueled by bravery and ingenuity, he loads his prized hot rod with highly explosive Exclusive nitroglycerin and sets it on a collision course with a monstrous lizard. In a spectacular and fiery explosion, Chase sacrifices his prized possession to save the town, ultimately putting an end to the reign of terror caused by the giant lizard. The movie Gila captured audiences with its thrilling storyline, adrenaline pumping action, and heart pounding moments of suspense. The theme of heroism, as embodied by Chase Winstead and his determined group, resonated with viewers, drawing the them into the battle between humanity and the monstrous threat they faced. Released in 2012, Gila quickly gained popularity among fans of creature features and suspenseful thrillers, leaving a lasting impression with its explosive finale and the triumph of courage over adversity. Snake Man 2005 The 2005 movie Snake Man takes viewers on a thrilling expedition deep into the Amazon rainforest. When anthropologists uncover the remarkably preserved remains of a man who lived for over three centuries, a second expedition is launched to unravel the mystery of his longevity. However, their quest is met with a formidable obstacle, the ancient Amazonian tribe known as the Snake People, who guard the secret of the Fountain of Youth and worship a gigantic multi-headed snake. Led by Dr. Susan Elters and guided by Matt Ford, the team faces perilous challenges as they traverse the jungle, losing members along the way. Upon encountering the snake people, they find themselves held hostage, with the only chance of peaceful release being the return of the discovered remains. As tensions rise, conflicts erupt between the scientists and the snake people. The pursuit of the Fountain of Youth leads to a climactic battle in a hidden cave. In the aftermath, the soldiers who accompanied the expedition are defeated 
defeated, leaving Dr. Elters and Mark Ford as the sole survivors. They make a fateful decision to preserve the secrets of eternal youth, realizing that it should remain with the enigmatic Snake People. Snake Man captivated audiences with its blend of adventure, mystery, and supernatural elements. Released in 2005, the movie gained popularity among fans of thrilling jungle expeditions and ancient legends, offering an intriguing exploration of the pursuit of immortality and the consequences of tampering with the forces of nature. Komodo 1999 In the quiet coastal town of Emerald Isle, North Carolina, a tale of danger, survival, and hidden secrets begin to unfold. Komodo, a gripping movie that combines heart-pounding suspense with the terror of mythical creatures, takes viewers on an exhilarating journey. The story kicks off during the 1980s when a clandestine shipment of exotic animals arrives at Emerald Isle's shores. Little do the unsuspecting locals know that this shipment holds a sinister secret as a driver transports the mysterious cargo, an unexpected twist occurs. A putrid stench fills the air, prompting him to dispose of what he believes are rotten reptilian eggs. Oblivious to the truth, he unknowingly releases these eggs into the murky depths of the swamp. Fast forward to the present day, and the Connolly family embarks on a seemingly innocent vacation to their cherished island retreat. However, their homecoming is marred by the devastating impact of a major oil company's pollution on the local environment. Amidst this backdrop, young Patrick, accompanied by his faithful dog Buster, encounters a seemingly harmless lizard. Little do they know that this encounter will set off a chain of events that would shatter their lives forever. Tragedy strikes when Patrick's family falls prey to an unseen creature, leaving him as the sole survivor. Overwhelmed by shock and grief, Patrick's grandmother seeks the help of Dr. Victoria Juno, a compassionate psychiatrist determined to guide Patrick through his pain. Together with Patrick's skeptical aunt Annie, they venture back to the island, hoping to uncover the truth behind the horrors that unfolded. In their desperate quest for survival, the group encounters the injured boat captain Martin, who reveals the true extent of the danger they face. Racing against time, they must not only battle the ferocious Komodos, but also the sinister intentions of Bracken, the man who sent Oates and Denby to eradicate the creatures. As the tension escalates, alliances are tested and the true motivations of those involved come to light. Victoria learns that the oil company was aware of the Komodos' existence, but chose to conceal the truth to protect their own interests. The plot thickens, intertwining personal vendettas, corporate cover-ups, and the fight for survival into a gripping climax. The film explores themes of survival, betrayal, and the fight against powerful forces. It combines suspense, action, and horror to create a thrilling cinematic experience. Released in 1999, Komodo gained popularity for its depiction of the ferocious Komodo dragons and the character's struggle to escape their clutches. The movie's exploration of human resilience in the face of danger struck a chord with viewers. Overall, Komodo offers a gripping and adrenaline-pumping adventure in a battle against prehistoric predators. Megaboa 2021 Megaboa is a 2021 movie that takes viewers on a wild adventure as a group of college students ventures into the Colombian rainforest in search of ancient cave drawings. Little do they know that a massive 50-foot boa constrictor, previously believed to be extinct, is lurking in the shadows, ready to satisfy its insatiable hunger for blood. The film's entertainment value is fueled by the combination of terrible acting and a poorly written script. Surprisingly, the CG CGI effects are commendable, adding some visual appeal to the otherwise absurd storyline. While Megaboa suffers from a slow pace and a lack of insufficient snake and flaming spider action, it manages to pack the final 10 minutes with thrilling sequences, albeit questionable in execution. Although not a masterpiece, the movie can be enjoyed as a fun and light-hearted watch, as long as viewers maintain some distance and don't take it too seriously. It caters to those who have a fondness for snake-themed thrills, along with a dash of spider-related excitement. Expecting subtlety or nuance would be misplaced, but for fans seeking schlocky snake fun, Megaboa delivers.
Empire of the Ants, 1977. Empire of the Ants, 1977, is a thriller horror sci-fi film that depicts a terrifying ant invasion. When barrels of radioactive waste are dumped into the ocean, the local ants are drawn to the leaked silver substance. Meanwhile, a group led by a land developer, Madeline Fraser, visits a supposedly valuable island, only to discover a massive ant lair. They become hunted by the aggressive ants and must flee for their lives. The survivors find temporary safety in a nearby island town, but soon realize that the ants have manipulated the town's inhabitants through pheromones. With the queen ant controlling everyone, the survivors must find a way to escape and overcome the powerful influence. Ultimately, they destroy the sugar factory serving as the ant's food source, eliminating the large ants and making their escape. The film explores the theme of nature's dominance and the consequences of human interference. It gained popularity for its thrilling mix of horror and sci-fi elements, along with standout performances particularly by Joan Collins. Empire of the Ants remains a cult classic among the fans of creature features and suspenseful storytelling. Big Ass Spider Big Ass Spider 2013 is a comedic horror film that follows the misadventures of Alex Mathis, an exterminator who becomes entangled in a citywide spider infestation. After being bitten by a venomous spider, Alex found out about another spider victim in the hospital. He teams up with the hospital security guard, Jose Ramos, to capture and eliminate the rapidly growing arachnid. As the spider wreaks havoc throughout Los Angeles, it becomes clear that it is no ordinary creature as it exhibits unusual size and aggression. As the spider continues to grow, leaving a trail of destruction in its path, Alex and Jose face numerous challenges. They must navigate through a series of escalating encounters from battling the spider in the hospital to facing its deadly rampage in a public park. The duo's pursuit leads them to discover that the spider's monstrous size is a result of exposure to alien DNA. Driven by a mixture of desperation and newfound courage, Alex and Jose confront the spider's nest located in the towering U.S. Bank Tower. Alongside a group of trapped citizens, including the military's Lieutenant Carly Brandt, they attempt to rescue the captives and prevent the spider from reproducing. The movie's theme revolves around the chaotic and humorous consequences of scientific experimentation gone wrong. It satirizes the monster movie genre with its exaggerated portrayal of a giant spider and the ensuing mayhem caused by its presence. The film combines elements of horror, comedy and action, offering a unique and entertaining viewing experience. Gamera the Giant Monster 1965 Gamera the Giant Monster 1965 is a classic Japanese kaiju film that introduced audiences to the iconic giant turtle monster Gamera. The film revolves around the awakening of Gamera, a prehistoric creature brought to life by an atomic bomb explosion in the Arctic. As Gamera rampages through Japan, destroying cities and causing chaos, a young boy named Toshio forms a unique bond with the creature, believing that Gamera is not evil but only. The theme of the movie explores the consequences of human interference with nature and the destructive power of atomic energy. Gamera serves as a metaphor for the dangers of nuclear weapons and the need for humanity to find a way to control and contain such power. The film also highlights the importance of empathy and understanding, as Toshio sees beyond the creature's destructive nature and believes in its potential for goodness. Gamera, the giant monster, gained popularity for its captivating monster battles, impressive special effects and heartfelt narrative that resonated with audiences. The film was the first entry in the long-running Gamera franchise and established the beloved character as a rival to Godzilla. With its exciting monster action sequences and underlying messages about environmental responsibility, the movie captured the imagination of fans of kaiju and science fiction films. Over the years, Gamera the giant monster has become a cult favorite among kaiju enthusiasts and fans of Japanese monster movies. Its success led to numerous sequels and spin-offs featuring the iconic giant turtle, solidifying Gamera's status as a beloved and enduring cinematic creature. The film's themes and memorable moments continue to resonate with audiences, making it a significant entry into the kaiju genre and an important part of pop culture history.
marvelous verdict. Giant animal movies may come off as nothing more than a thrilling cat and mouse chase at face value. However, most of the movies are often multi-layered and explore deeper themes that revolve around human values and human nature. Often, it is not the monster that is the most terrifying. Rather, it is that one self-centered guy in the crew who is willing to use his members as life bait to lure the creature in or to save himself. Although it is hard to blame a person in his situation considering the desperate human need for survival, such moments also show us that there is more than one monster in the story. With that, today's video comes to an end. What did you think of these giant animal movies? Did you enjoy this video? If yes, then do not forget to like and comment on this video. Till then, goodbye and have a nice one. Bye.